what's up, what's up, what's up? I'm back again with another video for you guys. And this one, this is what happened to be my sin of the day. And this is no other than Cuba Black. Guys, I've been rocking this one all day today. And the reason why, because this one here, as you can see, now don't get it mixed up with Cuba Prestige. I guess that's how you pronounce it, black. It's two different colognes. But this one here, it's got kind of like an old school vibe to it. It's spicy. Um, just smell amazing, man. Like I said, if you like a really high projecting cologne, spicy, um, give a lot of projection, good longevity, this is one right here, Cuba, Cuba Black. And... Definitely kind of dark, a little bit of incest and light vibe to it. Um, let's see here. Let's spread this out. All right, it's pretty good. Okay, check out the spray. The spray is not bad at all. Puts it out there. This is one I talked about before too, but this is one that, like I said, not a lot of people really, you know, talk about it. So I said I had to come up, talk about it, because it's my center of the day. Time to time, this here got a little bit of fruitiness to it. Um, you know it's not an 80s, actual 80s cologne, but it's copying something from that 80s era. I can't exactly put my nose on exactly what it is that it's copying, but best believe it's copying something from the 80s era. All right, projection-wise, I get about a good, I get about a good hour and a half to two hours of projection. Longevity, I get about six hours out of this, six to eight hours, give or take. Now, like I said, this fragrance is best one, in my opinion, is fall and winter months. Summertime, this will be getting a little bit too heavy, like, Start coming back, being kind of cloying, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, be a little bit cloying in the summertime, I think, man. You come back on you and uh, it could do some damage, man, uh, up in here. <laughs> now, you probably could choke yourself out with this one and people around you, especially if you try to rock this in the summertime, hot spring. You might can pull this one off on cold spring days, you know, like when. I'll say when spring just come in and it's still kind of on the cold to the chilly side or something like that, then you probably can pull this one off like that. But other than that, you probably want to stick with fall and winter on this one. This one's kind of spicy. At the same time, it's kind of citrusy. Very manly. Great projection. Great longevity. Great silage as well. Alright, so this one, that's one I, uh, my center of the day, and, uh, I just had the, because I wore the other Cuba the other day, and a lot of time, it, when it's cold like it is now, uh, I'll pull out, you know, the scents like, um, these, because to be honest, you know, like Cuba Red and them, this Cuba Black, and, you know, just to name a few, uh, a lot of them can't be worn when they get hot, let's keep it real, I mean, if it get hot and you really try to wear some of these, it'll be very cloying. I mean, it'll be coming from here to here and coming back on you. And you probably be choking out the girls, the ladies, people around you, point blank, period. You know, let's keep it real. But, if you wear it at the right time, it's beautiful scent, guys. Give it a try. It's inexpensive. This is a 4.2. You should be able to get this one for around, I would say around $15, being it's a 4.2. And I like scents like this. I like classical type scents. It smells good, like Beijing was another one that I liked, a classic fragrance, uh, which was this one. You know, I like that classic stuff, man. I got some more old school fragrances coming. Uh, to me, they perform the best. You know, I like colognes that really projects that projects a lot. A lot of this new day stuff doesn't project that well. You know, they 
spend a lot, they charge you a lot for it, but you're getting poor performance, you know, so that's why I, I prefer a lot of the old school stuff, you know. But anyway, hope you guys enjoy. It's my center of the day, uh, Cuba Black. Uh, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Share my videos with your family and friends. And um, until next time, y'all stay smelling good for the latest now. I'll hit y'all on the next video. I'm out. Peace.